Hello, welcome back. I just had it angled down so you'd be in the shot. So some more Gundam Zero today, as always. This reaction will be just the one episode. And then I was thinking, since we're coming to the end of season one, and I kind of want to speed this along, um, so that way I can react to Gundam Seed eventually, uh, that we're going to do like two-part episodes um, for, uh, until the end of season one. And then season two, I'll probably just do singles. But yeah, look forward to that if you guys want a little bit longer uh, reactions and get it done a little quicker, you know? Anyways, let's roll right into it. Gundam. Oh. <laughs> I just thought of a fun game. I should do like some time, do like a drink every time they say Gundam. Maybe for the, the final episode of season two. No, we're not. Tell him, tell him, that's me. Bonds. James Bond. No, you guys are confused. You're idiots. Dang, destroyed that. Damn, okay, we're all gonna just have a battle. Oh my god. I cannot believe that Tiara is teaming up with Sensuna right now. I don't think we've seen this combo yet. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized. I was like, <laughs> this shot, the cameraman, where, where is he looking? I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <笑>ふふふ。あら、見てた。けど、その<笑> Why does everyone just want change? I mean, I get it, but like, you have to have the motive for change, right? This fucking washer is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so surprised. Look, incest is not okay. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I want to see Natalie so bad. the fuck is going on? Oh, wow. Fuck. I kind of liked that chick before, but man, she went insane. Especially when she killed Luis's, like, whole family. That was fucked up. No respect. Now just shoot him, or just stab him, and be good. Damn. I feel like lock on's gonna get in the way. That guy, he is such a nuisance. I hate characters like him in anime. It's like, oh, let me just toy with everything. Because it's like... You're a side character. I don't care about you. Alright, also, I did read the comment about the Observers. That's right. Uh, I do... I saw that 
I didn't think it was much of a spoiler. I mean, if something changes and there's like a new form, I can kind of guess what's going to happen. Because I was thinking about this. I was like, if this guy's involved, he seems very like power hungry, right? Like he's talking about like, oh, I don't care. Like I'm just an observer. I'm like, bruh, stop. Don't miss me with that bullshit, okay? So I think he's going to probably like wipe it out or like want to just take control of Celestial being himself. And I think that's like part of what it is is he is the one that like made these uh well one he hacked into veda somehow or ordered that girl to hack into veda so it has some control over veda now and probably has for a while um and then two like i think he's the one not necessarily that discovered it but is so far giving the commands and is in charge of team trinity that's my thoughts We'll see if I'm right. <laughs> oh, then he knows his real name. Oh damn. I mean, he was a child. Okay, let's calm down. And was brainwashed. Don't, don't, don't play this bullshit, okay? This is unnecessary. <laughs> I get it, like, initially. But you know what? It's probably going to work because they're all very bad at communication. They can't properly communicate with each other. They're just children. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, like, it would just be like, Setsuma would be like, yeah, I, I was. I was a fucking seven-year-old or 12-year-old or whatever, and... I was brainwashed, you know. I killed my old parents, basically. And then, so yeah, of course, I killed a lot of other people. And I wasn't part of it forever. I joined Gundam, or the Celestial Being, so that I could, you know, wipe um, organizations like that out as well. Because I don't agree with war, or whatever. It's not going to go like that, though. So it's going to be like, just deadpan, silent. And then Lock-On's going to get so mad at him. Uh, Soren. What was his name? Neil? Neil DeLandy? Neil. What a name. What? What is this? Uh, I bet it's that guy, that observer. I forget his name. Okay, I feel bad for Sanji. Or Shinji. No, Sanji, right? Yeah. See, she has another hand. She can wear the rain. Okay, they didn't break up. Dude, if Luis kills herself, that would be like fucking amazing writing move. Okay, I'm in a very important part, obviously, but let me just point out that was like the most powerful scene I've ever seen from them. That was, I actually was like invested for the first time. <laughs> like in all honesty, even when like he pulled out the rain and I was crying, I know I talked about this last episode, but I did not find that very powerful. This, that felt like powerful, mostly because there's build up there and there's substance beforehand and we understand there's context and stuff like that and I mean just the dead silence like just make the scene powerful it's a very pretty she's looking out and obviously he's trying I appreciate that I will say this is the best scene I've seen of these two so far so whoever directed this part good job whoever directed the last episode 
bad job. If you're the same person, you really need to do more of this. I really hope you have. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to shit on you. Um, but I do appreciate this part. I'm going to watch it again. I, I don't understand. See, this is the only thing that's like confusing me sometimes. I mean, I get it. She's injured. She's in the hospital. But if she's just missing her hand, that means nothing. We literally have people that, like today's world, that doing that. This is the future. They, they prosthetics have probably leaped by miles now. If they have fucking Gundams and stuff, I mean, fucking hell, she should be able to live a normal life just fine, and be able to do whatever she wants. What? <laughs> I'm gonna hold you back. I mean, I get it. Like he should go back to school. But that doesn't mean that they can't still be together. Or she's not holding back. I don't get it. Why do people think they can't do long distance? <sighs> Sorry. Real experience here. It's fucking difficult, man. Long distance sucks. But you can make it work. It just takes a lot of... It takes a lot of trust. And... Um, devotion and just work in general. But I will say, that whole scene... Powerful. I was invested. I was not talking that whole time. I, I don't need a flashback. None of this. I just kind of wish we got to see more of the romantic side instead of the comedic side of their relationship, you know? She was very much, like, two-dimensional almost and just kind of not very interesting. I don't get it. Why is this the end of them? It, <laughs> it doesn't have to be over for them. As much as I don't like them, I don't, I don't see the point in them breaking up. I don't want that. I, look, my man does not deserve to be heartbroken here. <laughs> I feel like we're not going to see Luis again. Or if we do, it'll be like in the future. And, uh, Saji. Oh, Saji? What the hell? Okay, so a little slice of life from Sam here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have a group chat with some of my coworkers, and this guy was talking about, like, I am known as the potato man, because I eat a lot of potatoes, um, when I'm at work, because they don't have rice. I eat a lot of rice, because I'm Asian. But, since I don't really get rice at work, I eat a lot of potatoes. I have hash browns, got tots, fries, so I eat a lot of fucking potatoes. Just carbs in general. Literally, my breakfast will be, like, hash browns, tots, and, like, an English muffin, or a croissant, or something like that. Anyways, they call me the potato man and i took today off from work i made hash browns for lunch i it's not that like look i like potatoes i, I normally wouldn't i was they were frozen i wanted them for breakfast but it it would take too long to like i didn't thaw them out last night so i was like fine i'll just eat them for lunch i already had something else for breakfast it was not potatoes and then i sent it in the group chat a picture of me making hash browns because i thought it was funny and then one of my coworkers is like potato boy strikes again and he's like and sends the clip he sends that and then one of my other buddies is like emphasize on the toes and i was like I, I literally was like i'm not a fucking pervert okay that's gross and then later one of my <laughs> the same guy that said the fucking but the fucking um clip of sam from lord of the rings was like nothing is less believable than sam claiming to not be a pervert <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that. Thought I'd share it with you guys. I don't really talk about myself a whole lot. Um, I would like to start, if I ever get, you know, famous enough on YouTube, get a, 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 um, a good enough following. I would love to do, like, a podcast. Anyways, enough about me. Let's get back to Gundam. Oh, hey, they're communicating. Yeah. 
勝なんてロックオントリニティが言っていたこと事実だよ俺の両親と妹は KPSA の自爆テロに巻き込まれて死亡したあっダメ全ての始まりは Okay, okay, this isn't going as bad as I thought it would be. I thought they would be like immediately just. I mean, okay, granted, it is Lock On, and he's probably the most mature out of all of them. And we've seen some development from each of them to kind of mature a little bit. I mean, Tiara and、uh, Setsuna just teamed up, you know. Hallelujah kind of got over his whole mess, sort of. Hey, he seems a lot calmer now. <laughs> Okay, see, this is what we needed in that whole like, episode going there in Akrugus. Like, this would have been nice to know. I, I saw the comments, and like, somebody was telling me that the, it wasn't、um, about like, the religion, but more political stuff. Makes sense. But they use religion as a motivator to say that, oh, my political agenda is correct because it's God's way or whatever. Humans are just humans. <laughs> humans are just human. <laughs> Have you guys seen that new、uh, Giga video? t h i n k about reacting to the next Giga video that comes out just because they're amazing. I love it. I love it. What? Are you serious? Why? Okay. I take back everything I just fucking said. What the fuck is this? Bro, you were calm? Just because he was part of the organization does not mean anything. He was a fucking guerrilla child soldier. Like, what do you expect? He didn't know anything. This is why I hate when people are like, oh, I can't forgive you for your past. I'm like, bro, people do change. Like, he, he's part of you and he's helping you. Like, come on. Like, look, if he was still engaging in that stuff, everyone's got a past. Most of us have done some pretty fucked up stuff.、Uh, not gonna lie. It, some people don't. I'm not gonna say everybody does. Because, I mean, sometimes, you know, the change has to come from within you. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I'm serious. People don't change unless they want to. Sometimes, you know, You have like a big stressor and like you join something or maybe part of a group and they help you change. Okay, cool. But that's, you actively have to make that choice once you join that group, right? Same thing for people in the military. Join the military and you can decide to change your life for the better or whatever, or maybe you change your life for the worse. Who knows? Depends on your experience, right? Not for everybody. I mean, like, I don't look at people that, like, you know, they tell me, I mean, we get close and we tell shit, to, you know, about, like, everything we've done. And, you know, I'm, people don't, like, look at me and be like, oh, wow, you're a horrible person. It's like, no, man, it, you know, it happens. You were young, you dumb, do some dumb stuff. And I look the same way. It's like, like, man, you know, shit happens. I'm sorry about that. Like, you know, it's whatever. Because they're different and I see what they're doing now. Don't judge a person based off of their past. All right, you gotta judge them off of who they are currently in the moment and like what they're doing now. Sorry for all the tangents, but like this is like ridiculous. I don't understand. This dramatic scene is just so unnecessary. Tell them that you killed your own parents. Okay, this OST. Fucking banner right now. This is like crazy good. Okay, but, but also, what the fuck, Lock On? Please don't tell me they, they bond like, oh, we have a common enemy now. No, no, no. Resolve your problems like, like look, man, I forgive you for what you did. You, you were not in the wrong. Because he's not. He says to know it was a fucking child. I don't. Get it. <laughs> Can't just say your frustrations out on one person. This OST is way too good for this conversation. I am Gundam. I understand what that means now. I mean, it's still kind of stupid. But. <laughs> okay. 
this is this is good. But see, this is stuff that should have been like addressed in like their first fucking week or month working together. I don't know how long they've been together now, but like, I'm glad that they're progressing. What is this? The fuck? Just gonna leave me on like a. Oh, here's an image of something cool. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Anyways, sorry that was a little longer. Um, I went on so many rants. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. You know, I always enjoy your comments, so comment down below on anything that I may have missed or your thoughts on some of my theories that are gonna happen. Uh, appreciate you know no spoilers. If you are, do the whole spoiler warning thing. Thanks guys for watching and tune in next week for more Gundam Zero. See you then.